Jean Lafitte was one of the most mysterious pirates of all time. There is so little factual evidence of his existence, many suspect he had a secret identity. Two brothers believe their ancestor was Jean Lafitte. They will scour the globe for proof, even excavate a lost shipwreck. What they uncover could rewrite history and link their family to millions. We grew up hearing legends that our ancestor, Jean Altamont, was a secret, true identity of Jean Lafitte. This secret has been passed down through their family for centuries. We'll attempt to connect these two identities in New Orleans, the Yucatan, Meritas, and many other places. No one in our family has been able to prove these connections, but recently we found some old documents in our aunt's attic and a lost shipwreck. In this series, the Hicks brothers will set out to prove Lafitte's true identity once and for all. Lafitte's legend is based on so many myths that it's difficult to separate fact from fiction. Louisiana Governor William C. Claiborne put a bounty on Lafitte's head twice, but the pirates still helped the U.S. win the War of 1812. Lafitte sold his pirated goods in New Orleans without tax, which made him the Robin Hood of his time. New evidence suggests that among Lafitte's vast treasures were rich oil fields in Texas. Our last ancestor to investigate these legends found connections to the Spindletop oil fortune. She received a death threat and won't speak of it till this day. If the brothers can prove that Lafitte was actually Ottoman, their family would be entitled to untold millions. Lafitte and Ottoman were both born in the same year and the same area of France. Professional air hunters Brandenburger and Davis will help the brothers trace this genealogy. If we can prove Lafitte's true identity, mystery solved. We grew up fishing these waters with our elders, who told us that a Lafitte shipwreck was in this very lake. We started investigating and found that there's actually a lot of historical evidence pointing to the ship being here. Nautical archaeologist Lane Hedrick heads up the shipwreck investigation. I think Chuck and Cody's story is very fascinating. It's going to be able to you know, give you a little bit more insight into who Lafitte was, where he was, and really what happened to him after he supposedly died. We can prove that this was Lafitte's ship. It will place him back in the United States, where he lived another 28 years as Ottoman. There's no doubt it's there, and there's no doubt we're going to find it, and there's no doubt we're going to dig it up.